It has been a busy week for the iron workers involved in the construction of the temporary bridge, and it's no surprise to see them heading home early. Let's look at what was achieved this week. There's something a little strange about being greeted by the moon in the morning. Sweeping past the bridge components awaiting installation, we can take a look at how the bridge stands at week's end. Considerable progress has been made. A lone osprey stands guard over the site, showing little respect for it. A substantial stock of components hints at the amount of work still to come. The suspicion that deck panels for the future roadway had arrived was confirmed. But let's remember how we got here. Monday saw the first bridge sections delivered. No time was lost in unloading them. We also saw a crew trailer arrive. The whole unloading process was quick and efficient. Despite some really foul weather, Tuesday saw work to prepare the cribs that would support the bridge during construction. And the first components assembled. And rollers positioned. But something caused a new start to be made on Wednesday. Everything went well and the basic structure of the bridge began to emerge. Progress was rapid, and work progressed quickly. More bridge components arrived, ensuring that progress would continue. Thursday saw even more sections arrive. Passengers on the water taxi got a great view of the work in progress including activity right at the water's edge. Build progress demanded the first use of the elevated work platform, Skyjack. Considerable progress was made during the day, in conditions ranging from shade to full sun. With all the material awaiting installation, I suspect there's a busy week ahead, but only time will tell, and you should follow this channel to confirm. Thanks for watching.